Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel for another video. Uh, my name is Otisha, if this is your first time here. If this is not your first time here, I wanna tell you thank you for coming back. I have a video today about my eyelashes, like perfect time to learn a new skill, right? So I'm showing you guys how I do my um, individuals very easy to attain this is a very budget friendly uh tutorial and if you're interested in learning how to spruce up your face by adding lashes then continue watching okay so to get started i'm gonna start off telling you what products you'll need um you can use literally whatever you have okay but they do have pre-made sets of individual lashes this is a brand called andrea as you can see this is well loved i've used pretty much all of these you can buy the individual lash sets from the hair store. These are like a dollar a piece. They have different lengths. They have medium. They have short. They have long. You can buy whatever type of brand you like. Um, Kiss has this brand by the INV line. Um, this is the Not Free Medium Trio. You can buy these. It's a brand Velux that has a mermaid pre-fan volume type. I thought these were very nice. I think it's going to give you a really nice effect when you go to put them on. Um, you can buy Ardell Cons. You can buy literally whatever your pocketbook can afford. Use what you have. If you don't have any individual lashes, what you can do is honestly take a set of strip lashes that you really like as far as the shape. And you can cut these off. So wherever you see like the little spikes... You can cut those and make your own individual or clusters. If you didn't have any or you wanted to try some eyelash extensions, you could use some of these and just cut them. So you would need the lashes. You would need some sort of adhesive. Um, I have had the best experience with the Andrea brand. I don't know that they sell this anymore, um, but I found it on Amazon. I'll try to link it down below. This is the Permalash um, stuff. Y'all, this is probably terrible for your eyes, but... Your lashes will stay on for two weeks. Um, you just got to be very careful when you take them off if you want to keep any of their natural lashes. And yeah, like stuff is bomb, okay? We're going to get started. I'm going to open up my um, lashes. One thing I failed to mention that you'll need for the application of these lashes is uh, a set of tweezers. You need something that'll help you steady your hand when you're going in to apply the cluster to your lash um, because I am going to be doing it below my lash line and I'm going to show you, I'm going to have to zoom in and find a good angle, but I'm going to show you how I place the lash on my lash um, just to kind of hide and conceal that band and then get the most natural look. So what I'm gonna do to get started is just pull off a few of these lashes only because like it makes the application process go by faster if you already have some pre-pulled. The nice thing about these lash extensions um, is you can customize them however you need them to look. I'm gonna take my glue. There's no like magic to this. Um, I just take a little bit of glue because I like to work in, in small sections just because the glue will dry up when it starts to hit the air. I take a little bit and I'm going to place it in the lash tray. Make sure your eyelashes are free of any previous like debris. Make sure you've washed your face at this point and you've like kind of made sure that your eyelashes are clean. They're going to go on best when they are fully free of any like dirt, debris, oil, stuff like that. So I'm going to take that cluster and put the top of the lash into the, the adhesive. So, um... What you want to make sure that you do is wipe off one side of the lash band, if that makes sense. So you're, you're basically just going to dip it in and then take it and scrape the back side along the tray or whatever surface you're using to hold your glue. Okay. And I'm going to, of course, zoom in. But for the first placement, I'm just going to pull my eyelid back and then place it right here on the lash line. Okay. And then once I got that, you can use your tweezer to kind of hold it in place until it will kind of dry down. This works better the more tacky that the um, glue is, but you don't want it so dry that your lashes do not stick. So at least 30 seconds, depending on what type of lash glue you have. Sorry, I'm sniffly. My allergies are killing me today. Okay, and then once I got that one, I'll do the same thing. Take my little cluster or trio, whatever you call it. Be very careful when you're pulling these off of the um, tray holder because you don't want to lose all of your lashes. 
So dip it in your adhesive. And then wipe off the back side. So dip down, wipe off the back. And you're gonna take that and you're going to apply it. So pull back the eyelid, stick these right on. Okay. Now I'm gonna try to zoom you in, get a better angle so you can see exactly what I'm doing. All right, so I know this is a terrible angle, but this is what I had to do so to make sure you could see what I'm doing. Um, what I'm gonna do, as I previously explained, is I'm gonna take like my pinky or something and pull my lash up. And then I'm going to take the lash, so the little cluster, right along where my natural lash is, and I'm gonna sit that little band right here. Right at the base of my lashes, but on the underneath, because when you close your eyes or when people are looking down, it will help to conceal like the knots. It's going to look like it's kind of growing from your actual lash. And um, this, to me, most mimics the actual lash extension you can get. They do sell these in singles. So you can get like single ones. But to me, that just takes so much time and I don't know. I just this is a lot quicker. I prefer the clusters for the ease of doing these at home. Especially during this quarantine, y'all. We out here looking naked by the eyes and baby. Mm-mm. No ma'am. Not cute. Um, especially if you've gotten lash extensions, you know how nice they can make you look on a day to day basis. So it's gonna be really helpful for my hospital girlfriends if y'all want to know how to get like some at-home lashes this is like a really easy method so same thing but with this set of cluster this one like i said you need to be really careful when you take these off of the tray because these kind of spread around and do their own thing but i mean to me it kind of helps with the look that i'm going for take that i'm trying to look back in my mirror oh my it's a hot mess sit that on my lash band you want to be careful when you're placing these because um, that's the purpose of wiping the backside of the the lash cluster off. You don't want that to be dripping into your eye, basically, or touching your eye. You don't want to feel these when you're closing your eyes. And just by getting it the closest to your lash line, the more like natural they'll look. Then I'm going to continue on with that same process. I'm switching back and forth between the lash styles. <laughs> But you can use smalls and mediums. You can really customize your lash look with this kind of um, application. So if you like enjoy super long lashes, get you a lash set that has long ones in there. Most of these kits can be purchased at like a Walmart or a Walgreens, any of those places. They're super easy to replace if you do like lose a couple of lashes. At least you have these at home and you can pop some new ones on like if you've ever gotten lash extensions you know that like for the first 24 hours first off you can't wash your face or you can wash only certain parts of your face and that's kind of rough for some people that have like super oily skin like sorry you can see my my glue is starting to get a little too dry i don't know if you can see this on camera but like i'm getting little strings just take those off If you overlap some of your lashes, I think it's okay also. Just helps them look a little bit fluffier. I'm gonna try a different angle, see if this will help also while I'm putting these on. Um, I also do need recommendations on where I can find magnetic lashes. I had a request for that. I just don't know where I could get some and like some decent ones because I'm pretty sure, actually I'm not sure, but I would think that you need a decent pair or a decent type i don't know brand if y'all have any recommendations that y'all have tried please leave them down below i'm just pushing my lashes back as i apply them so that way they kind of fan in the right direction
I'm doing is going all the way over to the inner corner. So now I've got all my lash covered. What I like to do is go in in any areas that I feel are sparse or wherever I feel like I need extra volume or length, I go in and I add more lashes there. All right, so here's what we're looking like with those single clusters placed in there and all those little gaps that I had. This is kind of the outcome. What I like to do is I like to um, either take my fingers and mash the false lashes and my lashes together just to make sure they're nicely adhered. If you have any that come off on your finger, the glue was not dry enough. But all I'm doing is taking these and just making sure that they're fully adhered to my natural lash. See, I got a cluster there. I'm gonna have to take that and reapply. Sometimes I'll also take um, a lash curler, especially for the lashes in the front. The back ones seem to have enough flare, but I'll go in in the front ones and just try to curl those upwards. And then to, uh oh, sorry. And then to fill in the ones that I just lost, go and pick up new ones or pick those same ones up depending on what kind of shape they're in, and I'm just gonna put them back. I'm gonna give these about a minute or two to actually dry down. Um, this application will typically last me about a week to a week and a half, uh, depending on how much I wash my face and what I wash my face with. I don't pull these off, I let them usually fall off, or if I go in to remove them, some of these kits come with a adhesive remover or I just use an oil-based like facial cleanser and it'll help them to kind of start sliding right off. Um, like I've kind of mentioned, most of these adhesives will pull your lash if you do just straight pull them off. Sometimes it's kind of satisfying to do that, but like don't, don't do that. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna just go ahead and apply my second set or my other eye and these are kind of, it's your world when it comes to these lashes. You can make them as full as you want. You can make them as long as you want. You can make them as natural looking as you want. It's really up to you. I feel like this angle is pretty good. So I'm going to keep it here. And then I'm just going to go through and do a fast motion of me putting on this eye. So now I'm pretty much like satisfied with what my lashes look like. I just need to give them some time to dry down. I just take anything sitting around because I don't have a fan and I'm just going to fan these to dry. Okay, so as these are drying down, I'm just going to kind of talk through some stuff. Um, 
for maintenance of these i just make sure that for about an hour i probably won't wash my face um i will try to avoid oil-based products also because that will expedite how fast your lashes are going to fall out um, i will comb them every day i feel like with this application method they do tend to get more clumpy so if you have the singles i mean very nice if you found a lash tech that can do your eyelashes in this quarantine like girl girl you go you go but if you don't have any money <laughs> and you really trying to adhere to this quarantine girl get you a kit get to practicing or i mean get you some strip lashes whatever you want these just to me last a little bit longer so i just go in with an eyelash brush whatever this is called what is this even called yeah eyelash and brow wand and i would just comb out my lashes sorry and yeah this is what we look like i really like these if you have issues with the adhesive turning white because like your eyes water a ton or something Take that lash off, reapply another one when your lashes or when your eyes aren't as watery. And you can also use black eyeliner either as a tight line underneath the lash band or on the top of your lashes, very close to the lash line. Use some liquid liner and just cover up any of that white adhesive. Of course, you can curl these if you need to. You can put mascara on them. However, I don't recommend putting mascara because the least amount of buildup you can have, the better for the longevity of the lash. If there's anything that you can think of that you might have a question about, leave it down below. Um, I appreciate you guys for checking out the video. Hopefully this will help you get set up for quarantine. Girl, we trying to look like something, okay? If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, share, um, and make sure you have that post notification bell turned on so that you are notified every time I upload a video. And I will talk to you guys on the next one. Bye.